And turning back to the weather, we're not just talking about the 4th of July forecast this weekend, but we also had the third named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season and it's now dissipating out on the Carolina coast. But Brittany, this is not the only system that you've been tracking this week. No, Bonnie forming uh, Friday early in the morning. And then of course we had Colin yesterday. It seems like we're kind of getting whiplash here. And of course, if you have plans still maybe today or even tomorrow to just head toward uh, the coast, even for just one day, uh, Colin is now a remnant area of low pressure. So this is still producing areas of rain, of course, wind and gusty conditions along the coast, but conditions will be improving really as early as later on. On today. So Colin no longer tropical. It is just a remnant low, which we oftentimes right see immediately off the coast. I wanted to show you this live picture here from Myrtle Beach. This is Bar Harbor there in Myrtle Beach. Uh, definitely still looking choppy out there. They are still going to have those uh, elevated rip currents later on today, but we are going to again see some improvement, especially as Colin moves further there offshore. So that of course a live picture there from Myrtle Beach. Uh, we can also see that the rip current risk is going to continue to be elevated here over the next day or two. You can see from Myrtle Beach a moderate risk there that continues up toward Moorhead City. It's those areas along the immediate coastline there toward the Outer Banks that have the highest rip current risk here uh, so far heading throughout their Sunday and then of course more improvement by tomorrow. Now their system we're watching is Bonnie as it continues to head toward the Pacific Ocean could become a category one hurricane, but uh, hey, a non issue not just for the United States, but no longer for the Atlantic Basin. That area that we were watching in the Caribbean earlier yesterday now has a near 0% chance of development. Why? I told you yesterday it's that cold air and of course the combination of that and high wind shear. So it doesn't look like we're going to see Danielle anytime soon as we are no longer watching anything out, at least right now in the tropics.